Hello everyone, my name is Josh and welcome to episode 8 of The Binding of Isaac. I was an idiot last episode and figured out after I recorded the thing that I had not actually recorded audio. Well, my voice had not been recorded. I don't even think there's any audio in that video at all. Which is annoying, I'll have to put some music over into that. I'll have to check it afterwards. But, anyway, <laughs> we did a cane run yesterday, and we did get a new secret though, Mr. Mega. Um, but aside from that, there was a pretty abysmal cane run. We did not get very far at all. So, considering we unlocked Judas a couple of days ago, may as well try out Judas. So, Judas has pretty good attack, uh, a step above Cain even, initially. Um, the rest of it's all the same as Isaac and Magdalene. Um, he starts with one heart of life, but his spacebar item is the Book of Belial, which we saw briefly in the last episode with the Dead Sea Scrolls. So, really... This is going to be a whole case of trying to be as safe as possible. We also don't start with any bombs or keys, but we do start with some pennies, unlike, um... So I can stand just out of these guys' range and shoot them perfectly fine, and they can't kick me. So we do have that little extra aspect on there, um... Hey, jumper guys, did not see you last episode. So, wow, <laughs> we're piling in the items already. So, Judas has the whole thing of being basically high risk, high reward gameplay. Um, and really, once again, if a run is successful, all depends on whether... and shoot this thing. You can get some extra items from this guy. Nice, another key. And there's a tinted rock right there. Uh, but we'll see what we get in here first. Not a lot. So really, it all balances out in the end. What do we got? Ooh, nice first item. Cupid's arrow, piercing shots. That'll be very useful from the get-go. So, of course, first guess for the secret room is down here. So, obviously, Judas is going to be a bit more of a struggle to deal with gameplay-wise. Um, as, especially early on, and if you don't get much health items at all, um, you're going to have a struggle time trying to deal with the stuff. Ooh, 15 here. The... 50% off Steam sale, very nice. Very nice item to get, especially with Judas. Allows you to get more upgrades. May as well go in straight away, fight Larry Jr. Should not be too bad. We're going to use the Book of Belial. Increase my attack power tenfold. And with piercing shots, basically going to completely destroy Larry Jr. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice upgrade. And lunch... HP up straight away. Very nice. Alright. Let's go to the basement. Basement 2. Ah, uh, yeah, you put on the wig and everyone laughs at you. Alright, so. <laughs> we have full life, so our beautiful mob spawner will spawn. Ooh. There's an item there, but I want the item in here. First, and we have another HP up. A hard item. Very nice. I'm liking where this is going right now. What is in the mob trap room? Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna want that. So generally with the mob mob I can't speak today. Generally with the mob trap rooms, what you wanna do is you want to 
um, the devil. That gives us attack power all over again. But we, I've already got the Book of Belial, so... <laughs> Devil's kind of useless. Does make me look cool, though. Um... Said this way. This could admittedly be very dangerous if I'm not careful. That went quite well, actually. It's only a spirit heart that I've got, so... These are the bomb ones, I'm fairly sure. No, they're not. They're normal ones. Okay. Having piercing arrows this early is great. Great item to get this early on. Um, okay. I guess we continue searching. Uh, hope we can get another key. That'd be quite nice. Yo, see ya, buddy. <laughs> Bomb, finding the secret room, which I have an idea where it is. Can you get them in a row? Are oh, you just slice them all at once, over and over again? And tinted rock right there, but I only have. One bomb and one key, and I don't have enough money for the item, which is now seven. Steam tag. Very nice to have. I guess we're gonna get lucky. Nice. Some coins and a key. So, we're gonna use the devil in this room. And get a bomb and another key. So, devil and grandfather flies, which are... No problem now. And... Overall... Not bad of a room. Very nice room. Ow. I'm getting hit over and over again there. And I still have... The Book of Belial. So let's... Find that secret room, which I'm guessing is... Right where I blew that guy up. Look at that. Got money for two items from the shop. So, looking to turn out to be quite a good run right now. Let's just not get hit over and over again. That's what I want to avoid. <laughs> full health. Always very nice to have full health. There is a tinted rock somewhere, but I don't know if it's really going to be worth it, but let's just blow it up anyway. Nice! Oh, very good. Small rock. Damage up. Again, I'm really high in damage. Yeah, look at that. I've got full damage now. <laughs> I don't even really need to use the Book of Belial. It's not going to change much. We'll see how much it changes when we get in here. What do we got? Step ladder or the map? You know what? I'll just grab both. Treasure map and the ladder. Why not? I can buy them both. <laughs> I have the money for it. All right. So we are looking quite good, so let's head to the boss. Now I don't know if the Book of Belial does anything about um, if the horsemen have a higher chance of spawning or not, but we'll see what happens. Duke of Flies should not be a problem at all. I'm just going to put him on just to have that ability there. <laughs> Ah, piercing arrows helps a lot against the Duke of Flies. Look at that. Very nice. Got a belt for a bit of speed. And let's head down. Caves 1. We have basically overpowered right now. Oh, no, no toilet paper. Ooh, alright. So, now that I have the treasure map, I have a better view on everything. Ow. We get some bombs and some keys. That's probably going to be my main goal with this. Now that I have the ability to kill these guys quickly, I'm going to do so. And I can just walk right across the gap. Is that a tinted rock I saw in the corner? Sure is. See if we can get anything from this. 
Another bomb. Very nice. Better spirit heart. Always good. Always helpful as well. The treasure map also shows us where the secret room is. So, oh wow, another tinted rock. And a treasure chest down there. I think I'm going to leave that for now. Um, we'll head down this way. And those guys are no problem at all. Let's check out the secret room first. What do we got in here? Very nice. We got a one up. Very helpful. That'll be helpful, especially if I run into a tricky spot later on. And Mum's bra. Yeah, nah. I'll keep the Book of Belial for now, thanks. I think the Book of Belial does a bit other stuff. Ooh. Yes, I want that. But let's use the Book of Belial. Anything, it may have increased my attack power even more than what I already had. In terms of items from the golden chest, though, mm, it was okay. I mean, maybe attacks bigger. Very nice. And a bomb for our troubles. Book of Belial recharges very fast. Wow. Okay, well, I don't need to go to the secret room, so let's blow up that tinted rock. Two spirit hearts, very nice. Let's grab this chest, see if there's anything worth. Nickel. We can now grab the item in this place, in the shop. Yeah, so the Book of Belial still has its uses right now. Um, it makes us even stronger than we are, so that's always helpful. Oh, this is a great room to deal with these guys in. Hey, Book of the Lyle's back. <laughs> Let's head down. Why do Grandfather Flies still take, like, two hits to defeat? There we go. Key for the shop. That's what I want. And a champion enemy. Always nice to get a champion enemy. Give me a bit more coin. Very nice. And another coin for my troubles. <laughs> Alright. I'm gradually losing spirit hearts, but I'm not overly concerned. Um, there we go. I'm gonna blow them up. <laughs> and of course, Come over this way, I can grab that nickel. Very nice. So if this room has two again, that chest, another coin. Nice. Battery. That'll help a lot. And because we're here, why not? We'll grab another coin. <laughs> Alright. So with all that, let's go fight the boss of Caves 1. And let's hope it's a um, horseman. No, it's Gertie. Alright, Gertie. Easy room. Easy one. Look at this. I'm gonna destroy Gertie. That hurt. Okay, just keep doing that. Oh crap. I mistimed that very well. So, of course, Watcher's face, when he covers his face, he's gonna come out and try to attack you, but when he does that... Ow. He moved very quickly right there. And that battle went down very quickly. Look at that. Very nice. Dinner. Got some more HP. Always helpful. Let's go to the caves too. So far, looking to be a good Judas run. Put my mouse up there so that it's not in the way, really, at all. Alright. Let's get to exploring the caves level 2. Holy crap. Having piercing shots makes these guys an absolute joke. 
they these guys are amazing when you have and having the battery is making the Book of Belial a really nice item. To have. Look at that, it's already recharged. Nickel all over again. Looks like I'm going to be going to that cafe all over again. Keep note of the fact that you can shoot these guys while they're down. Get in range. The problem with that was that I had no room to work on it. Ooh, that's not a good combination at all. That's not a good room for these guys at all. <laughs> anyway, set to the shot. Greed! Come on. That's not what I wanted. I wanted a shop with items in it. Stop running. Then take my money. You will do one good thing though. You will give me a lot of money. <laughs> Right, I'm in need of some health right now. I do have the one up, but I don't want to die and use it, so. Look at that. Belial's already charged up, and I only used it a couple rooms ago. Ooh, pills. Do I wanna do I wanna tempt fate? Let's tempt fate. Oh nice, full health. Very helpful. Compass. That will be actually very helpful. So let's turn on Book of Belial and grab the compass. Very nice item, thank you, game. First wave is always these guys. Which are not too bad now that I've gotten used to them, but. Ah, these guys are a joke now. <laughs> I can hit multiple of them all at once. And I have my Book of the Lyle, so. These guys, however, are a pain. <laughs> I don't like these guys. You're not go too badly though. Get a bomb will explode to the Oh no we can't use a bomb in this room. Supposedly. Look at that. Book of Belial is already half charged. Why did I do that? Bugger. Alright. Well I have so much coin anyway. Let's head towards the item room. That hurt. dodging these guys now. <laughs> Book of Belial is all charged up. Shoot you from down here. Ow. Some health would be nice. Like that. Um, full health one again. Comes a lot easier to deal with these things. Let's beeline towards the item room. Ooh. Space bar. So, something tells me that I'm not going to be fighting Fistula, but you never know. <laughs> See what happens. Another nickel. Oh boy. This is not a fun room. These guys are just annoying because you don't know when they're going to fire. Once you get rid of some of them, they get a bit easier to deal with. <laughs> but they're easily one of my more least favourite enemies in this game. Heart is helpful. What's in the item room? Kaboom. Kamikaze. That'll kill me. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I guess really the only good thing about using that would be to have the thing. I'm going to go down here. Fly all over again. Is 
hoping for some health there, but whatever. Got a few rooms to go before we get to the boss. Still want some health items. That would be helpful. Ow. Jeez, these guys move fast. I forgot about that. I got cornered! Ah. Right, I had the extra life. Thank God for that. These guys do one whole heart. I did not notice that. Am I just weak? Probably. Look at that, they even dropped a heart in that room. That's mean. quickly. Good. There's only the small. Slightly slower variety. Alright, boss time. Who we got? Chub. Sup, Chub. <laughs> Great spawn point. I guess I can try and get him to run into his own vermin. <laughs> probably the best way to do this. But having the Book of Belial makes all these bosses go down very quickly. Along with the um, piercing shots, very nice. Mum's underwear, bit of range, always helpful. The Death Swan, okay, let's go. <laughs> Alright. First step, straight to the item room. Piercing shots make these guys great, because you don't have to aim for them anymore. Also, just having basically maxed out attack makes the rest of this room easy. Really only got two places I can go. I've got the shop. Ooh, x-ray vision. Don't need to use bombs to blow up. Stuff anymore. I don't even have any bombs to open up the secret room in the first place. Secret room's always good to go to. Guess we'll head that way purely to blood bank in the middle. I want to use a bomb to blow stuff up. Alright. Kill these guys quickly. You know what is the bane of my existence? The not the grandfather flies, but the other stuff. This is shaping up to be a pretty good run. Now that I have piercing shots plus book of the Lyle. That was close. Want that. He Ooh. You do not want to be near these guys in the next place. Very good reason for that. Shot, what do we got? Take a spirit heart. Mr. Boom's and big bomb. That's a waste. Grab another key in case I don't get another one before the next point in depths 2. Now, if I can get the Bible, if I get the Bible, I'm easily, easily replacing... I have no bombs. <laughs> it's in there, of course it is. I've gotten no horsemen at all this game. I think he may have gotten a couple of horsemen by now. Bomb and a nickel and some very nice. Gonna head back to this room. One bomb for four bombs is definitely a good deal. <laughs> very nice. I was tempted to use the 
another one of these ones. Ow. Blow up that door. <laughs> I blow up a boss door. <laughs> I never... I don't know if you can, that's the thing. Okay, boss time. Who are we fighting? Ooh, war. Have I fought war yet? I'm not sure, actually. I don't know how he works. Ooh. This should be a fun fight. Okay, so when he does that, he's attacking. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Clears out the battle lane a bit though. Okay. I want to get him off his... Okay. He's off his thing, so he's supposedly a lot easier now. I can tell. He's just running. There we go. Cuban meat. First one. What's the devil got? Nothing of interest. I would make deals with the devil... But, you know, I just don't have the health to do it. Depths 2. This will really just be more of a... Hope I can get some more items. <laughs> Ooh, alright. I'm... Oh, God damn it! I don't have the... for these guys. There is a... Hello. Why have you got my head on your back? <laughs> you are strange. Tinted rock. Give me something good. Nice. Spirit hearts. Let's go check out. Ooh. Shovel. Where we can see a floor. You know what? I'm gonna leave that because the bosses in the womb, at least for the first bit, aren't too bad. They're actually quite. Won't be something bad. Nice! Balls of steel. That means more spirit hearts. This is a lot of brains. I have barely any movement around this room. And an arcade down here. We got everything. Alright, shops first. What do we got? Book of Revelations. Give ourselves an extra heart. Back my Book of Belial. Uh, I'll grab that heart. And Mr. Mega. Do some blast damage. Very nice. Oh no, I'm out of keys. Crap. Can I buy a key? Yes, I can. I want that key. <laughs> I want this item. <laughs> Buy the item. Yum heart. If I'd known, I could have probably used it in another aspect. Let's see if we can get anything worth it here. See if we can get any more spirit hearts or anything, because that's really what I'm going to be looking at right now. Let's play the game. Touch the middle one. Shit. Yeah, okay. Your game is crap. <laughs> what have we got? Kills. Bombs are key. Now I have no bombs and too much keys. Right. Okay. Let's shortcut. Time to fight mom. Book of the Lyle. So basically, basic strategy that I've gathered for Mom is basically to hammer at her feet when they appear. Um, honestly, Mom gets a lot easier the more you fight her. Ow. You were a bomb. 
The only problem with having to rely on spirit hearts is that and mom's foot can kill her enemies as well. You need to watch out for the foot. That's going to be what hits you the most. <laughs> enemies can as well, but she brings out the enemies. Ow. Alright. That is the depths. Breakfast? HP is always nice. Time for the womb. And, in my opinion, the stage where we go straight to the boss because we have no other reason to really do anything else. So, can I get anything out of this secret room? Point. Okay. Can I get spirit hearts or anything? I'm running off four hearts here, and everything does one full heart of damage now. So, I will admit I am slightly worried, but we'll see how this goes. Holy crap. These enemies aren't that bad. As long as you wait on its side, it won't attack. It can't hit me. And I do have the Book of Belial in case I need it. Kill the snake wannabes. Rope version 2s, <laughs> as I'll call them. Wow, that was fast. Um, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna go back and blow up that slot machine because I can. Screw that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that now. Alright. Let's see what we get in terms of the boss. I'm going to waste a key for no reason. Skull X. Alright, this is a good boss. He's not that difficult at all. Just need to keep an eye. Hitting his tail does a lot of damage, so aim for the tail. <laughs> We're gonna beat Mom's heart a second time, and she does a monstro. <laughs> so from that, would you look at that? Spirit heart and dessert, another HP upgrade. Wow, I'm looking quite good actually going into the womb too. Time for the Mom's heart. Of course, toilet paper. Worst reason to go into your mother's womb. Ooh. Okay. A uh, bit of a longer distance to get to. Mom this time. God. These guys are annoying. Any fire and... I killed him, I think. Ooh, boy. That was close. Very nice. Gonna head straight towards mom's heart. Can't really think of really anything else to get unless there's something like special in here. Just coins. Alright. It's a mob trap room, but I really don't have a need for it anymore. First thing to do, take out the hearts of death. Me some attack range and power. You just blew up your own buddy. How much more of an idiot can you be? <laughs> Hello. You on you? I've never seen you before. I've got three rooms. This thing is going to be full. I can't get out of here. I have never fought this guy before. Oh, well he went down quickly once I got the Book of Belial out. I've got six hearts. Fistula. 
had a feeling that it would do bosses in the ending bits. This is going to get very dangerous. Oh boy. <laughs> Everything does one hard damage in the womb. Let's just... That. The Hierophant. Spirit Hearts. Very helpful. Two Envies. Are you kidding me? <laughs> One envy is enough. Two envies is asking for too much. <laughs> I can deal with it. We'll see what happens. Having piercing shots might help. Jeez, Envy is the, my least favorite of the seven deadly sins to fight. I guess it's a good thing that... Ah, bloody hell. Thank god there's an arcade right up there. I can blow up the stuff. I have three bombs. I can do it. <laughs> Blow up this stuff, especially the heart bank. That's gonna be what saves my life <laughs> right now. <laughs> Maybe. Oh god. That is the problem with envy. He takes forever to kill. I'm running into him over and over again. I'm freaking out right now. Okay. We're getting close. <laughs> God, of all the deadly sins to fight before Mum's heart, has to be Envy. I know. I don't like Envy. He's, oh, of course, and you drop a bloody life bomb afterwards as well. I don't care. I have bombs. Let's go. <laughs> Boom. I get my bomb back. Mm, give me hearts. Half a heart. Very nice. Key and a bomb. Very helpful. So in the end, the arcade did not help me out in the same way I wanted it to. Oh, okay. I know what to do. Place a bomb. So you do it. Okay, four hearts. Oh, actually, no, there's a heart back here. I'm gonna go grab that now. I don't know if it's a full heart or not, but it'll give me an extra hit. Maybe. If it's a full heart, it'll give me an extra hit. It ain't giving me an extra hit. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can beat this game for a third time, second proper time, I guess. Alright, Mom's heart. Let's get this run as Judas. Okay. You give me the upgraded attacks I need. Honestly, like, it really just depends on the items she brings out. On the enemies she brings out during this whole fight. Like, ah, oh shit. I don't like these guys. These guys are a pain. Circle strafe. There we go. Alright. Jesus Christ, you move everywhere. So once Mum's heart gets down to... These guys are another one of my fans in my existences. 
You have an eye. What makes you any different? Oh, you explode. Of course. Having piercing tears, though, helps in this fight. Yeah, come back down. <laughs> there we go. Oh god, not one of these. It's a nice song. Okay, now she's firing the bombs in those things. I have a feeling that's gonna be what kills me. Oh crap. Don't trap me in a corner. Shit. God, I'm getting trapped. I don't want the run to end here. That would be terrible. I need to keep moving. Come on, we're not that far. Let's go. Go, go. Yes! Holy crap, that was close. Cool boy. Wow. That was very close indeed. Let's open the chest. Oh boy, that was close. Okay. Oh, a noose. Okay. And yeah, that was coming. Credits are always the same. A robo baby has appeared in the basement. Hmm. A noose has appeared in the basement. Interesting. We have found about half the items. How are our stats looking? We've beat mom twice now. We've gotten 64 items. We have 21 secrets. Woo. It's always pretty fun. So, I guess... Next time we do a run with Kane, so if we can beat the game again. That went quite well. So anyway, until the next episode, goodbye.